This is the last phone call 15-year-old Lan Hamaday made to the Red Crescent. It's a tough call for Palestinian Red Crescent workers to relive. Trapped in a car in Gaza with her family, she begged for help, as she said Israeli forces had opened fire on them. They're shooting at us. The tank is next to me, she can be heard saying on the released audio. The Red Crescent says the teen and five other family members were killed. But they are still trying to figure out what happened to a six-year-old girl in the car, Hind Rajab, who also got on the line. For three hours, Red Crescent workers tried to keep her calm. Dispatcher Rana al Faki describes how. The situation was bad. She kept saying, come and get me. Send someone to save me. She said it was getting dark. I told her, if night falls and we still can't send a team, to try to close her eyes and pretend we were playing hide and seek. To close her eyes and start counting. If you see a light or dawn, open your eyes. The Red Crescent decided it was safe enough to send an ambulance four hours after the call began. But it soon lost contact with Rajab, as well as two crew members. Days later, there is still no news about their fate. The Israeli military said it was not aware of the incident. After nearly four months of war under intense Israeli bombardment, Red Crescent spokesperson Nibal Farsak says calls like this are all too common. Hind and Leon's story is one among hundreds our teams receive daily. In many cases, we aren't able to help because of the Israeli occupation. Wherever it has tanks, it declares the area a military zone, despite the presence of civilians, injured and unarmed, and patients who are trapped in their homes. The Israeli army prevents our staff from reaching these areas. More than 27,000 Palestinians have been killed, according to Gaza health authorities. Israel says its goal is to destroy Hamas following the October 7 attack that left 1,200 dead and more than 240 seized as hostages.